channel I hope you guys are all well since Valentine's Day is approaching so quickly I thought I would film a video kind of based around how to look good and feel your best at Valentine's Day even if you don't have a significant other to celebrate Valentine's Day with this year that does not matter at all Valentine's Day is about loving yourself just as much as loving other people so if any of you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend at Valentine's Day this year don't worry take this day as like a little pamper day to kind of have an excuse to really treat yourself and make yourself feel the best that you can so in this video I'm going to show you guys like the little tips and tricks and things that I do to make myself look that little bit better so if you guys would like to see that then you are in the right place if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a huge thumbs up just down below and also subscribe if you are brand new but if you guys want to see how to achieve this glam valentine's day makeup look and also two outfit options as well as how i did my hair then just keep on watching okay so first up i'm going to start off with my eyes i'm going to be creating quite a neutral warm toned eyeshadow look i feel like a warm toned neutral eye look is perfect for every skin tone and every eye color and it's really easy to do as well so i'm going to be using up my NYX Warm Neutrals palette for this. These are the most gorgeous shades in here and they're really buttery and creamy and it's also drugstore which makes it really affordable. So first up I'm going to take this Warm Neutral shadow and I'm going to blend this into my crease. medium transition color in your crease is going to make your life so much easier when creating a smoky eye because it makes it so much easier to blend all the colors together. Next I'm going to take a slightly darker shadow which is this one and it's like a nice warm neutral shadow once again but just a little bit darker than our transition color. I'm going to take this on a brush and apply this into the outer V of my eyelid. By the way don't worry if your eyeshadow gets really messy like this because we're going to clean it up at the end. Once you have blended your eyeshadow really well, you can then take a highlight color and this is the color we're going to pop onto the center of our lid and that is what's going to really pull the look together and finish it off. So today I'm going to be opting for this really nice gold and pigmented eyeshadow and on a packing brush I'm just then going to apply this into the center of my eyelid. This is going to add a nice pop of color and highlight to the eyelid while still making it really wearable. So that is a really easy three step way to create a really nice smoky eye but now to really finish it off you just want to take a q-tip and some makeup remover soak up the q-tip and clean up the edge of your eyeshadow and just like that you got yourself a really nice crisp shape to your eyeshadow look which you can now trace over with your eyeliner now for mascara i'm actually going to start off with a mascara primer this one is by urban decay and it's called super version thicker longer and stronger lash primer this is honestly the holy grail of mascaras that no one ever seems to talk about i personally think that mascara primers should be more common because they really do make a difference to your eyelashes so i'm going to apply a coat of this onto my lashes before applying my Stila mascara. And lastly to finish off the lashes I'm going to be using this Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline for my bottom lashes because the wand is very small and it's just perfect for all those tiny little lashes. And lastly to finish off the eyes I'm going to use my Avon Mirror Shine Crayon to really emphasize and highlight the corners of my eyes. I feel like this makes you look so much more awake and it really draws a lot of attention to your eyes. Next up is contour and highlight. This is a step that you just cannot skip. Contouring really emphasizes and underlines all of your best features on your face whilst highlighting brings back that health healthiness and glow to your face. So to contour I'm going to take my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm going to apply this onto the circumference of my face mostly focusing on my cheekbones. I'm just blending this in with circular motions like so and even taking it up to the temples and my forehead. I'm also going to reach for a smaller fluffy brush and contour my nose a little bit. So I'm just taking that underneath the tip of my nose to make it appear a little bit more taller and slender. And now I'm going to move on to highlighter. Just so you guys know, my top three favorite highlighters at the moment is this one here, which is the Makeup Forever highlighter, and this is the Pro Light Fusion. It's the most beautiful, cool toned highlighter. The second one I am obsessed with at the moment is the Rodeo highlighter. This is the Instagram Compact Highlighting Powder 02. And again, this one is quite a cool toned one. It's so beautiful. And lastly, for a more affordable highlight, I'm really still loving the Sleek Solstice highlighter. And in here, you get a whole set of 
a few different shades with different undertones, which is perfect if you're a beginner and you're just trying out highlighters. So for today's look, I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever one, which is this really gorgeous cool tone shade, and I'm gonna apply this onto my cheekbones and the tip of my nose for a really nice glowing highlight. Lastly, to finish off this look, I'm gonna go for a bright red lip. I feel like a lot of you may be scared to rock a red lip, but trust me, if you just give it a try, you're gonna look great. All you have to do is just find the right tone of color for your skin tone. I really like this one here, which is the Melted Matte by Too Faced because it's got a cool undertone, meaning that it's gonna make your teeth look really white and also it's really wearable. And the best thing about this is that it's a liquid lipstick, which means it's super wearable. It lasts for ages, meaning it's kiss proof, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. Those of you who follow my Instagram, you'll know that I always rock this one, which is Cool Girl by Too Faced. And it's also the Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. And honestly, this is just such a wearable everyday color. But if you aren't ready for a red lip just yet, you can always rock a nude one. So that is the makeup finished. I'm now gonna move on to my hair. First of all, I'm gonna add some volume to my roots just by using the dry shampoo if I collab. I'm just gonna spritz some into my roots and fluff it up a little bit. Having volume in your hair makes so much difference. So now that I've got that really nice fluffy roots, I'm now gonna curl my hair with my curling wand. The one I'm using is the Remington one. But really quickly, I just wanna show you guys a really cool trick. If you wanna curl your hair really quickly and you are in a rush, all you have to do is put up your hair in a high ponytail and just curl all the different strands of your hair in the ponytail. Trust me, this takes so much quicker and it's really good if you have a lot of hair and if you're in a rush. And once you've curled all of the strands, all you have to do is just let your hair out and your hair should be nice and curly. So now that my hair and makeup is finished, I thought I would show you guys two different outfit options for Valentine's Day in case you guys wanted some inspiration. So the first outfit is quite a casual yet dressy one because the jeans are very wearable for every day whilst the top is a little bit more on the dressy side due to its really nice high neckline. I absolutely love this top and I think it goes perfectly with the jeans. The top is from ASOS, the jeans are from Pretty Little Thing as well as the shoes. I feel like all the muted colours work really perfectly together. And now outfit two is a slightly more different one. This is a little bit more dressy due to the corset that is layered on top of the simple white dress. And this dress paired with some knee-high boots is a really nice touch. The whole outfit is from ASOS. I'll have links down below. So that is all for my Valentine's Day how to look hot video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found some like useful tips and tricks. I hope this video inspired you guys to give yourself a mini makeover this Valentine's Day. Even if you don't have a partner, this does not mean that you can't dress up and give yourself a really nice treat and just do all the things that you love. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. Also follow me on my social media, Roxaurus. It's literally like Roxaurus on every single social platform. If you guys wanna be part of the dinosaur family, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And that is all from me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!